The report of the ad hoc committee probing the procurement of Sputnik V vaccines was the last item Parliament considered before it adjourned sine die. Chairman of the committee, Alexander Afenyo Markin, presented the committee's report and justified its conclusions. The underlying reason for the decision of the minister was well founded. To the extent that, Mr. Speaker, that decision was to save lives, we must commend him. But to the extent that he erred, he erred in not seeking parliamentary approval prior to signing the contract, Mr. Speaker, the minister would have to take note of it so that in future such a thing does not reoccur. Mr. Speaker, we are all here. To be fair to this report, um, Mr. Speaker, to look at the facts and be led by the facts and not to allow extraneous matters to misjudge the matter or to misguide us. And Mr. Speaker, that is why I am inviting this house to hope that notwithstanding constitutional matters that were obviously breached and the minister's assurance the same where he was coming to this house for ratification we must adopt the support after a number of contributions from some members minority chief whip muntaka mubarak called on the house to amend the report and recommend the dismissal or a vote of censure on health minister kweku ajimai menu for breaching laws and procedures in the acquisition of the said vaccines i want to beg and move an amendment to this motion the report of the committee to include on um, paragraph 12.4 now have paragraph 12 and 5 to include that the minister and I ask Mr. Speaker adding this paragraph that the minister not having lived up to his oath of office he is not fit to occupy the office of the minister of state and must therefore be removed from office henceforth failing which this house must pass a vote of censure on, on the minister Mr. Speaker I so move and we on this side of this house are voting we are calling for vote of no confidence on this minister he does not fit to occupy this office having betrayed the trust that this the people of this country has mandated him with having broken the constitution of our country having broken the laws of our country the minister of health does not fit to occupy this office i therefore move for this amendment and mr speaker in line with our under 78 D and 83, I beg that you put the question on this for it to be part of the report of this committee. And so move. The second deputy speaker after the debate on the report deferred action on the report. Honorable members, I defer the question. I'm unable to put the question. Thank you. That is my ruling. The question will be put at appropriate time. This provoked the minority who broke out in protest through the chanting of revolutionary songs. <laughs> The leader of the House deemed the action disruptive and thus called on the Speaker to adjourn the House without the usual closing remarks. And I repeat for the umpteen that I would have thought that we're going to put the question on the motion. Unfortunately, you know, we have decided otherwise and the ruling cannot be challenged. So we leave it at that. The Speaker, if we are finished, I know Jennifer and myself make our closing remarks and the speaker make his own closing remarks. And the speaker, if people elect to be unruly, if people elect to be unruly, it's difficult to control them. And I would suggest at this stage that we submit our closing and adjourn the house immediately. The House is expected to resume from recess in October.